Here is a quick overview of the game that we're going to be creating in this tutorial. So I'll speed up the video here a little bit. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit boring. Oh, by the way, you can find the link to this project in the description box down below. There, you can find all the assets and everything you need for this game. So basically, this AI car is using a self-driving algorithm or an autopilot algorithm to scan the track or the road in front of it. We can actually see that it is very hard to beat that AI car, even though it is driving with the same speed and it takes off actually one second later, but it is very hard to beat it. So I can guarantee that you're gonna lose the game if you don't turn with the right angle and at the right time. So that is actually the, the, the trick or the idea behind it. Now that we know how the game would look like in the end, let's jump into designing that track, background and the sprites. Firstly, I'm going to design the track, which is the background. So I'll briefly show you how to design the track and the background. And then I'll skip this part and show you only how it looks like in the end. Now I'm going to duplicate the costume twice so that we're going to have two backgrounds, one for winning the game and one for losing the game. Actually, we're going to have um, an additional one just when we start the game. Now I'm gonna design the start and end line for the track. So one more time, I'll briefly show you how to design sprites and give you the idea behind it. But for the biggest part, I'm gonna be skipping the designing part because it just takes a lot of time. And I'll only show you how the sprites look like in the end. Now that we're done with the start and end line, um, I'm gonna go ahead and design the two cars. They are actually identical except for, for the color. Oh, by the way, the start and end line, they are also identical except for the color. I think we're pretty much done with designing the assets and it's time now for some coding. The first thing to do here is to relocate or place the start and end line accurately on the track. Accordingly, the two cars should go directly to the start line when we start the game. Also, we need to make sure that we are having the, um, the right background. We're not having the, the losing one or the winning one when we start the game. And now we need to be able to control the car or we need to be able to drive the car. So first of all, the car should be pointing in the right direction. Here, I'm gonna just move the car in a forever loop for two steps, only two steps. We're not gonna make the game too fast. And we need to be able to turn left and right. So when we press the right arrow key, the car should turn five degrees to the right. And similarly, when we press the left arrow key, the car should turn five degrees to the left. Since that is working pretty well, we need now to stop the game or lose the game when the car is touching the green area. At the same time, when the car touches the end line, we need to win the game. Now, let's jump into the most interesting and exciting part of this game, which is coding the AI car. But first, how does the autopilot algorithm or self-driving algorithm works? Well, to clarify that, I have a very short video here. 
This is Tesla's Model S, and we're going to have a look at how autopilot actually works. We'll do the hardware first while we're outside. Underneath the plastic front bumper cover here is a radar that can look forward to a range of several hundred meters so the car can tell what's in front of it. That data is combined with information from these little dots. There are 12 of them around the entire circumference of the car. They're ultrasonic sensors, so a much shorter range, but more of them. Up here at the top of the windscreen is a camera that's forward-facing. And there's also very high precision GPS, so the car's computer knows exactly where it is all the time. So basically, it's all about having sensors and cameras that would scan the track in front of the car. And based on that, based on the sensors and cameras, the car would turn right or left. So when the sensor at the top touches the green area, it's going to broadcast or send a message to the AI car saying that it should turn a little bit to the right. Similarly, when the sensor at the bottom touches the green area, it's going to broadcast or send a message again to the AI car, but this time, the car should actually turn a little bit to the left. And by sending messages back and forth from these two sensors, the car is going to be driving all the time in the middle of the track. So now that we understand how the algorithm works, it's time now to design the sensor. And we can actually represent the sensor by a straight line. And the sensor should actually make roughly 45 degree angle with the car. Also, the sensors should not be too long. Well, for this game, we're gonna try to make them match the width of the track so that you won't send uh, messages all the time to the car. All right, so the problem now is that the sensors are not being attached to the car. So to fix that, we're just gonna say, when we start the game, then these two sensors should actually go to the car. And we're gonna have a forever loop so that you would always be attached to that AI car. That works pretty well. Now we need to implement the autopilot or self-driving algorithm. So when the sensor at the top touches the green area, it's going to broadcast or send a message to the AI car saying that it should turn a little bit to the right. Similarly, when the sensor at the bottom touches the green area, it's going to broadcast or send a message again to the AI car, but this time the car should actually turn a little bit to the left. And by sending messages back and forth from these two sensors, the car is going to be driving all the time in the middle of the track. All right. So the problem now is that the sensors are not pointing in the direction of the AI car. And unfortunately, there is no direct way in Scratch to do that. So we're going to have to create our own variable that would keep track of the direction of the car. And then we're going to use this variable that keeps tracking of the, the direction of the car and we're going to make the sensors point in the direction of this variable that we created. Here we go. Now we completely implemented the self-driving feature for the AI car. There is only one more thing that we still need to do, which is hiding the sensors because they just don't look that good.
I'll temporarily stop the player car just to be able to test that AI car. So before I end this tutorial, I'll show you some screenshots of the full code for each sprite. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.